Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode seven of Trail and Kills DIY Sprinter Camper Van Conversion. So I know it's been ages and we promised a video sooner, but uh, we've been up to so much. Uh, so much been going on in our life, including a road trip from the west to the east coast of the USA and then back again. So that has been taking up a lot of our time and we wanted to use that time to actually try out this van build that we made. So this is an update tour, but it's by all means nowhere near finished still, our van, but we got it to a place where we could actually use it for a road trip, test it out to see how it's actually gonna work. And also being able to use it in that way meant that we could make some changes along the way. And also we've changed our mind on a few things on how we're gonna be finishing off the design of this van based on durability, how we've been living with two cats and our dog Kepler as well. So there's lots again that's gonna get changed um, and there's still lots to go. But this is an update of what we've done since our last video. Okay, so firstly, you can probably notice these overhead cabinets. We got three up along here in the kitchen. And over here, above the bed, we've got a couple here. So these are all soft close cabinets. We will be putting in some hydraulic hinges here so that they stay open very soon. But Helen, if you want to have a look in here, you can see we've made some plugs up there so that we can charge our laptops, camera equipment, all that kind of stuff. Hide it away in there and get it charging maybe when we're not in the van or when we are too. So all these cabinets have been custom built by us. So we have put a lot of work into these and we had no idea how to do it to start with. So we had to go on Google and YouTube and figure out how to do this ourselves. So it's been a real learning journey. And I'm so glad that we've done it ourselves though, because we know exactly how stuff works and if something goes wrong with any part of this van we know how to fix it as well so there's definitely some huge benefits to building your own van for sure so we've we've chosen all these nice little pearl and brass brass uh, gold style knobs here uh, all to go with our theme and style of kind of moroccan tropical moropical we might call it or <laughs> Tropo, tropa rockin? Who knows? Uh, drop a comment down below. What do you think sounds better? Tropa mockin? Or uh, <laughs> what was the other one? Moroccan. Moroccan. Yeah, let us know in the comments down below. Um, so yes, we've also done a lot of painting. So as you can see, I think I might have mentioned earlier, maybe it was me or Helen behind the camera, we might have mentioned that we were going to paint this western red cedar along the walls and the ceiling. Now I have greatly come around to Helen's way of thinking that we shouldn't paint it and I'm so glad we haven't because it really brings a lot of warmth to the van when you're in here at night it feels really cozy having this western red cedar and it looks really nice just bare as it is so we're just going to end up waxing this which will protect it and uh, stick with the, the nice wood grain here and on the ceilings. But we are going to have various hits and highlights which will be painted this off-white colour like we've done on the cabinets and these sections and um, yeah, cabinet doors down here too and also in our garage which we will show you in another video. So if you already follow us on our Instagram feed then you'll probably know that we travel with a full-blown full-size barista espresso machine and that's because we like our home comforts so why compromise where even when you're living in a tiny little van so our coffee machine would normally be here when we're camping and it lives in this pull out drawer when it's stowed away we've got a big space down here for it and at the moment we're renting an apartment so unfortunately the coffee machine is in the apartment but it, it sits here when we're on the road plugs in here and we get everything that you'd want from a espresso machine including the foamy milk oat milk I might add so that's really cool and another home feature that we have is we've got this space 
So Alistair talked about how we've designed these shelves to fit our needs exactly and that includes measuring to within a fraction of an inch the height we need for our Sonos speaker that lives up here which you'll see in the photos on Instagram and that provides a really cool sound system for us when we're camping out in the van and um, looks really cool up there as well so really happy with how that one turned out. Well on the subject of kind of other custom features I wanted to show you a couple that I'm really excited about. Um, you may be more excited about one than the other but uh See, yeah, let me know in the comments which one you prefer. So, number one is the secret door. This door has the lovely pearly knob that we talked about with the overhead cabinets, and it opens out into our van's garage area, and it serves a couple of functions. Um, it stays open like that. And the first function is that when we travel full time with our two cats and our dog, then we keep the cat's litter tray in the garage area and the cats need to get into there to use that facility so we created a little door for them and you can see on the Instagram that they do actually use it and you can see them disappearing off into there to do their business so that's pretty cute we like that a lot <laughs> and uh, in its secondary function is also because Alistair's powder skis are too long for the width of the bed to live in the garage so when we take this van to cold places and go cross country, back country skiing, then we can fit our skis and the tips will poke out here so we can still travel with them in the garage. Okay, so that was exciting, don't you think? Well, hang on to your hats. Option two, you had a sneak preview of this when Alistair showed you in a previous van tour video, and that is where we hide our secret toilet. One of the biggest questions we get asked on Instagram and in comments on YouTube is, where do you keep your toilet? How do you go to the bathroom? It's very important. It's one of life's necessities. So we made these cushion covers um, since the last video. We have a secret toilet in here. Let me demonstrate. So this folds down here. This lifts up here like so. And it's got a strut to keep it open. And lo and behold is our composting toilet with a little switch, which is not a flush. It's just to ventilate the compost. So that, um, exhales down into below the van so that vent blows um, circulation through the toilet very important and it's great it's got a little container for the liquid stuff that you can empty frequently so you may be wondering why we have this fold down door here and that's for a couple of reasons firstly so that you don't hit your legs on it when you're using this and secondly so that we can get in there to empty that liquid container down there So we've designed it like that so it looks like a regular cabinet when it's closed. And you'd never know, there was a loo. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> well thanks for watching update video 7 on the Trail and Kill DIY Sprinter camper van conversion. I hope you've enjoyed what we've been doing so far and excited to see what's coming next. The next video we're going to show you is going to be all about fully dedicated to our garage, so everything that is back down here behind Kepler's dog crate. There's so much going on back there. If you've been following our Instagram account, you've probably seen a few sneak images of the design in there. It's very tropical and vibrant and super fun. That's where we're going to be putting all our adventure toys, storage, and also our electrical system is down there. And we've put a little display on so there's all kinds of lights and fancy things down there to make it look awesome. So our next video is going to be all about that. So definitely check back, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss that one. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. If you really enjoyed it, please give us a like. It really helps our channel grow. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.